When you open the door of the Old Testament and step over the threshold, it feels as if you've suddenly gone back in time. You wander through the hallways of this vast and mysterious literary mansion. And it's easy to get lost, disoriented, because this house is packed with unique rooms, some large, some small, from the sprawling family room of Genesis to the coat closet of Obadiah. But in one way, all these rooms are the same. The lock on each door is opened by one key and one key only. The key of moralizing, turning the Old Testament into a collection of stories that merely teach us right from wrong, that key will not turn the knob and give you access. The key of legalism, treating the Old Testament like it's the recipe to get on God's good side, that key will never open these doors. But there is a key that will. Take in hand the Christ key. Slide it inside the lock and every door from Genesis to Malachi will swing wide open and beckon you inside to bask in the grace of God. For the last 30 years, as a student, as a professor, as an author, I've made my home in the mansion of the Old Testament. What's both amazed and excited me is that no matter how many times I enter these rooms, every time I discover more of Christ. Walking through the wild and wicked den of Judges, I find the Messiah foreshadowed in the lives of Gideon and Samson. Inspecting the poetic furniture and tapestry of emotions in the music room of the Psalms, I hear his voice praying these ancient prayers. On the tabernacle altar, his cross is emblazoned. All over the Exodus, his redemption looms large. I encounter people all the time who are confused by the Old Testament or they're curious as to how best to explore these stories. And so for them, for you, I wrote the Christ key. What you'll discover is that in one way or another, every narrative, every prophecy, every psalm whispers Christ's name and winks about his mission. He is the key and he is the content. My hope, in fact, my fervent prayer is that this book encourages you to spend the remainder of your days saying to every part of the Old Testament, show me Jesus.